In this week's Create Your Dream Home episode, we are in my sister's home, which is five minutes away from where I live, and we've been working on this bathroom for months. My sister wanted a Zen bathroom. We had some challenges with this bathroom because there was no window in here. And the only place that we could install a window was right beside the chimney. That was the only place that it could go. And so we had to get creative with the mirror, the lighting, because it isn't just your standard mirror in the middle of the wall with sconces on both sides. So the first thing I need to do is identify what are the fixed colors in the room. So the paint color on the walls is in actual fact an orange beige complex cream to relate to the world of the cognac vanity and we've repeated that here in this super fun asymmetrical mirror and now I'm like okay well what are what's the tile? Well we can all see blue gray is easy to see but it is a blue gray and we need to know that because we're gonna to wanna to repeat that in our decorating. So, let's go shopping. Okay, wait, hold on a minute. <laughs> uh, now when you say shopping, not too much, okay? Because okay? I want zen, I want it to be spa-like. Minimalist. I don't wanna be there a whole lot of stuff. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah, god, look at all that good. water. I see we're not gonna be dehydrated on our trip to the store. We don't want to get thirsty. Definitely no, not. definitely not. <laughs> Guys on the road. <laughs> go. <Let's> go. <laughs> Should go to the bathroom section first. And as a matter of fact, it's right there. <laughs> <laughs> It's not often we're by the towels and we are creating, here we go. Yeah, we're doing a little, like, I just feel like you can get really creative with towels, you know, just in adding color to a bathroom that is often missing the soft stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So this is what we found. So tell me about your renovation. Well, I have been looking forward to my bathroom being renovated for many years. Mm -hmm. And I really wanted something zen because I've had little kids for many years. They are now teenagers. And I just feel like my house has been cluttered for many years. And so zen is kind of what I wanted. You know, and your husband started it off. He kicked it off by removing the wall in between <laughs> the toilet room and the shower room, because he's like, let's get this party started. Yes, I was yes. very happy to see it gone. Exactly. It was one of those 80s bathrooms where the carpet just rolls up, to the, up to the vanity. So lovely. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we had a plan. We had the mood board, we had picked out the light, the window, we had the spot for it, and everything was rolling along quite nicely. And I was feeling good about it. Then, then we had to decide <laughs> on the faucets. Yes, then it was the faucets. My husband wanted black faucets and I wanted brass. Therein was the problem. <laughs> <laughs> I called Maria and I said, what are we gonna do? I said, just do chrome. Because you could probably both agree on that. And so he called the plumber and he said, all right, this is what we want. We like chrome faucets. And immediately the plumber said, a a chrome? But everybody's doing black. Thank goodness we had Maria on speed dial.
So the bottom line here is you need to have some patience. Like here's what it is. People plan and they wait and they wait and they wait until they renovate. And then once they finally make the decision, they want it all now mm -hmm. and they don't want to wait for the right thing to arrive. So the tile was three weeks out. Yeah. You know, and Bill was like, well, let's just get some tile. And you were like, uh, no, we're waiting for the right thing. That's right. <laughs> Just like I've waited for this bathroom for That's 12 right. years. So, you know, it's, it's nothing wrong. Wait a few more weeks and get all the pieces and parts mm -hmm. so that you'll have a house you'll love forever. I love my bathroom. <laughs> <laughs>